Hey there, gamers! Welcome back to Product Critique, where we dive deep into the latest tech to help you make informed decisions. Today, we're tackling something exciting, the Nakin Evil X Pro Controller for Xbox. Let's see if this budget-friendly gamepad lives up to the hype, shall we? First impressions matter, and the Evil X Pro doesn't quite hit the mark. Its larger-than-average size might appeal to some, but for those with average-sized hands like mine, it feels a tad unwieldy. Plus, those oversized triggers? Not the most comfortable fit. Speaking of design, while the face and shoulder buttons are decent, the analog sticks feel overly sensitive, and the triggers are disappointingly mushy. And don't get me started on the LED model, those lights are blinding. On the bright side, pun intended, the Evil X Pro does offer some neat features like a 3.5mm headphone jack and programmable buttons on the back. But, let's be real, those are just small consolations for its overall lackluster performance. Now, let's talk performance. I put this controller through its paces with various games, from casual titles to more demanding ones. Unfortunately, the sensitive analog sticks made precise movements a challenge, and the mushy triggers led to some frustrating moments, especially in shooters. So, should you invest in the Nakin Evil X Pro Controller? Well, if you're on an ultra-tight budget, it might seem appealing. But honestly, there are better options out there, like the HyperX Clutch Gladiate, which offers a higher quality gaming experience for a similar price. That's a wrap for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Product Critique. Until next time, happy gaming.